So welcome to step two in the video series, Strong Nutrition Solutions. So you've reviewed step one. You've answered four critical questions on your pad of paper. And you should have the PDF in front of you, either downloaded or printed out in front of you, or uh, the copy of my book, Impact, and have this out in front of you because we're moving on to step two. Okay, and step two is all about lifestyle. It says here, setting yourself up for success. You've probably heard the term a lifestyle change when it's come to health and fitness or strength and conditioning or, or improving, right, with nutrition. Nutrition being one cog in the wheel of lifestyle. Well, what does that mean? That means the process in how you're living needs to change. Okay, it's not just mentally thinking about a healthier life. It's physically doing different things that are in line with living healthier, having more energy, and eating cleaner. Okay, so setting yourself up for success is pretty important here. It's a pretty important step. And the first thing I ask people to do is get some of these sticky notes. You can get these at the dollar store. And you're going to set up visual cues. This is not important for long term, but it is important for the short term, especially for the first few weeks. So on these sticky notes, you can write down words that inspire you or that are in line with your vision for yourself. So mine would be strength, uh, muscle gain, fat loss, um, athleticism, things to this nature, right? So these can be whatever resonate with you, like weight loss, um, feeling better, better mood, better sex, anything that resonates with you, anything that means living a better lifestyle in three months from now, what is it going to look like? What do you want to accomplish? So write these things down on the sticky notes and I need you to put them in as many places as necessary. So a few really good examples are in the bathroom, on the mirror, your night side table, in your car, maybe uh, in your wallet, in the kitchen, on some cupboards, maybe a few on the fridge or on a calendar, in your notebook, okay? As many as needed to keep you focused and in line with your goals. Because remember, when we do something, we're doing it for a reason. We're not mindlessly doing it. We are mindfully taking action to accomplish something. And we need to stay focused for the first few weeks and establish those habits. Okay. So visual cues, very important. Second, the potency of pausing. Okay. It's going to be inevitable. You're going to run into some challenges and some struggles. When you feel like you are spiraling out of control, when you're in a scenario where maybe you don't have access to your food or you just feel like you're getting overwhelmed with everything, you need to take deep breaths, five to 10. If you're able to, breathe deep into the diaphragm. Inhale through the nose. This will reset your nervous system. It'll take you from that anxiety and bring you down. This is proven. Okay. This is a yoga, um, a yoga strategy. It's also just great for anybody that's suffering from some anxiety. So this is a tool that we're going to use. Deep breathing and refocusing on what it is you want to accomplish. You're, vi you're literally going to think about what it is that you need to accomplish while deep breathing. That is the potency of pausing. And then you're more likely to make the appropriate decision or take a walk or stay in line with that vision for yourself. Okay? It's a good strategy. You need to implement it whenever you get into trouble. Okay? The last part of this, setting yourself up for success, is create a team, a true team of close friends. They might not be your immediate family, unfortunately, right? People that you can trust, that you can vent to, 
and really hold you accountable in a supportive, non-judgmental way. Okay, might be some coworkers, it might be some friends, but those friends must be in line with what it is you're trying to accomplish.